Hey, what is up YouTubers? It is Cody Carpenter here from the YouTube channel Cody Knows, and in this video I'm going to talk about responsive search ads with Bing Ads aka Microsoft Advertising. So let's get into it. Um, I'm on a website right now from Microsoft.com. I will have this linked in the description below so you guys can read up more about responsive search ads. So this is relatively new and right now I just want to do a quick overview of what they are and then I'll get straight into a tutorial on how to use these responsive search ads and how to customize them by pinning certain titles in certain positions. Here's the description straight from Microsoft. Responsive search ads in the search network allow you to set between three to 15 unique headlines, AKA titles, and two to four ad descriptions within a single ad. From there, Bing will select the most relevant headline and description combination for each given query and corresponding search user. By allowing Bing AI to select the most relevant headline and description for each query, we ensure that the right message lands for each of your potential customers at the right time across all possible intent signals. So Microsoft's responsive search ads are very similar to the Facebook dynamic ads that I created a video on not too long ago. You can watch that by clicking that eye thing up there. So basically you give them a whole bunch of options for the titles and descriptions and they'll go out and they'll do all the split testing for you, see which ones have the highest click through rates, etc., and show those more. One more thing, the responsive ads shown to users appear identical to ex to expanded text ads, up to three headlines and two descriptions. Obviously, you're not gonna have like six headlines. No, it's still gonna be the two to three headlines and two descriptions. But depending on the screen size, your ad may show without the third headline or second description. And that's just normal. So that is the definition straight from Microsoft. Now I'm gonna get into the full tutorial on how to set these up. So I'll do that right now. Okay, now let's get into a real life example on how to use these responsive search ads. This is my test account. Um, I actually ran a campaign uh, late last year for a ClickBank offer called Brain Training for Dogs. I did a full case study on this. Uh, it's on my YouTube channel. It's called the ClickBank Affiliate Marketing for Beginners Case Study. Uh, it's 10 videos showing you 100% A to Z how to create a landing page, how to set up your tracking with ClickBank and ClickMagic and how to create a campaign using Bing ads uh, or Microsoft advertising as it's now called. If you wanna watch that case study, you can click that I button up there. I'm just gonna give you an example based off of that campaign on how to use responsive search ads. So I'm inside the campaign, I'm gonna do create an ad. And for the ad group, um, maybe I'll just select manual phrase. So the ad type right here, by default, it was set to responsive search ad. If you wanted to change this, you can just go expanded text ad or the app install ad. So responsive and expanded are the only two I use right now. So for the final URL, I'm just gonna put brain training for dogs. That's not my actual landing page. So this is just an example. Now let's say I wanted to test out these headlines. So let's start with this brain training for dogs. I want that to be my number one. And I only want this headline right here to be in position number one. And you can do that by clicking pin. Show this headline in any unpinned position? No. Show this headline only in position one. So if I click that, you can see the pin mark and then the number one. Okay, so I got that pinned and now I want another one and I'm just gonna do this for example, a training course for dogs and I want that pinned to the number one only. All right, now we can go and test out these other things. So simple dog training hack, I'm gonna come over here, and then this one, I can, I'll be okay with this one showing in any position. So I don't wanna pin this anywhere, I'm just gonna let that one be. And then training course for dogs, go like this. Training videos for dogs, go like that. And then you can keep on adding more and more headlines. The more you add, the more you'll be able to test and see which ones get the highest click through rates, which will in turn decrease your cost or cost per click. Excuse me. Um, eliminate bad behavior in dogs. Perfect. And then another one would be best training for dogs 2021. Oops, 2021. And then you could also pin some into the third position. So like for my uh, third headline spot, I like to do stuff like this. Best course for 2021. And then I could have this pinned only in position three. I'll do one more. I could even just do an open bracket 2021 and then pin in position three. So that's how you go about pinning stuff. 
So these ones in the middle right here, they're okay to show in any position. These ones are very are in the very first position, and then these ones are in the only in the third position. So then you can go about doing your descriptions. I just got some copied from my case study I recorded previously. And then you can even keep on uh, you can keep on adding in more descriptions and you can do the same type of pinning stuff. So I could uh, just go off of this. And instead of saying eliminate bad behavior, I'll do eliminate bad behavior now. Oops. Now click to create an obedient, well behaved pet of your dreams. I could do even one more. And let's say like I only wanted this one pinned in position two. It'll pin it to the two. Click here to get started now. Well, another split test you could have done is uh instead of having everything like normal text have everything capitalized you can see if that would help your click-through rate you know just go through and edit everything the obedient i won't do the whole thing but you guys get the point just make a split test and have microsoft ads go out and actually split test it for you and then the mobile url is optional the add url options this is where you would paste in your tracking template again in my case study i show you how to go about tracking your clickbank campaigns so give that a watch if you don't know how to do that already so yeah that's how easy it is to create responsive search ads with microsoft advertising um, if you guys got any value from this video, please drop a like on my video. It'll really help out my channel. And lastly, if you are not subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, smack that subscribe button and that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.